everyone, I'm Mind, and in this video, I'm going to be opening up two LEGO Ninjago sticker collections. These were gifted to me by Blue Ocean, the company that makes the Ninjago magazines, stickers, and trading cards. And each of these collections comes with eight of these Ninjago crystallized sticker packs, and each of the packs comes with six different stickers. Each collection also comes with one bonus minifigure as well. You can see this one has a Hydra Whipper on it, and this one has Season 11 J. I don't believe I've ever actually opened up any of the sticker packs before, so without further ado, let's get started. We'll tap into this one right here first. Okay, let's grab the first pack right here. So here's one of the sticker booster packs. You can see it mentions right here that there's six stickers in the pack, and it's got this art of all six of the ninja and crystallized. It looks like these packs are sold for one euro in Germany, so let's just tear into it. Alright, let's see what we got inside. So I guess it's not only crystallized base, because we have Seabound J right here, and then a screenshot of J from the island, a screenshot of Neo from the beginning of Crystallized, I believe. Then we have J's Titan Mech, that's pretty cool, I wasn't expecting to see that. A card of Lil Nelson, and finally I guess the rarest sticker on the end is, oh wow, that's actually a really, really cool effect. What's that, the Water Dragon? Yeah, I believe that's Neo from Seabound, but wow, that hollow effect looks really, really cool. I'll probably go pretty fast with the basic stickers of the rest of these packs if there's nothing like too interesting going on with them. But for now, let's tap into pack number two. Okay, we got Legacy Garmadon, Scuba Kai. Oop, missed one right here. We have Legacy 3 Zane right here with an interesting expression that's not actually what his minifigure has. That's pretty cool. I wish that was an official face print. Then we have Kai and Ray from Seabound. It actually seems to be a lot of Seabound themed stuff. And then finally, oh, one more. We have Ray and Maya. That's a photograph of them that we've seen in the show before. And then finally, the rare one on the end, we have. Oh, okay. This one. <laughs> this one's going on my laptop. We got Mango Whipper right here with the jetpack and the sword. Very, very cool. I love the little glow in his eyes. That's so cute. <laughs> Alright, pack number three. We have Soul Archer, we have Lloyd in prison, we have Dragon Form Kai, Nia as the Water Dragon, Legacy Garmadon again, though this is a different one, and the final we have number four, Ooh, Golden Only Lloyd. Actually, this seems to be a part of a bigger picture because we have the legs of Golden Dragon Zane up here. That one's pretty neat. Pack number four. We got the Dragon Eye from the set, Core Kai. We have Harumi stuck in mud. <laughs> That's one that I really wanted a sticker of. Lovely. Then we have Kor Wu, the Overlord, and then finally number 98, the rare card we have, ooh, Oni Garmadon. I know it's simple, but I don't know, the sparkly like hollow stickers will always get me. That does look really cool. Like he is front and center right there. I love how that turned out. All right, number five from this one. We've got Screenshot of the Golden Ultra Dragon, we have a Vengestone Warrior, which actually seems to be like a smaller shaped one, yeah. So you don't have to have him square shaped, you can just actually cut out this part right here, that's nice. We have, what, this is Wojiro from Seabound? Then we have Scuba J, uh, Kai's Legacy Jet thing. And then finally, number seven on the end, we have, ooh, okay, the core, like, powered up Lloyd. Gonna be honest, not my favorite one we've gotten so far, but hey, I mean, it's still cool to get. I feel like the sparkles over top of this Pijitsu doesn't necessarily work the best, it kind of just loses it. But they were certainly trying something here. Pack number six time. We have, like, the captain's quarters in Seabound. We have, ooh, okay, we got Prince Kalmar and, uh, Gripe right here. Another very special card to me. I love, I love this little guy right here. <laughs> Alright, next we have another Vengestone Warrior, then we have the Mechanic tied up, awesome, really won that one. We have part of Zane's mech, I guess that ties in with another sticker, and then finally at the end we have number 92, ooh, Sensei Wu from Season 11. That one again, I don't know if the sparkles work the best, I think because he has a white torso he kind of blends in a little bit, but the lightning effects around him are cool at least, and I do love my boy Sensei Wu. Alright, two more packs left of this collection. I don't know if there's rarities of these, like if anyone's in Germany wants to let me know, like is there really rare ones and like really easy to get ones? I assume the sparkly ones are the rarer ones, but like is there different rarities to the sparkly ones, or is it all just sort of the same? Because I'd be curious if I got something like extra special here. Regardless, let's see what we got in this one. We have Wojira sleeping, and then we have a legacy ghost. We got Zane in, I think this is the part of Seabound where the helicopter goes down, I believe. Then we have Wu with a broom. Awesome. Really wanted that one. <laughs> we have Cole's uh, Earth Dragon Cruiser. Cole's Golden Dragon What's the set called? Cole's Golden Dragon Cruiser, right? That's the name of the set. Anyway, yeah, we have the Cole vehicle from Crystallized. And wow, okay, 242. I didn't realize there was that many. I saw 98 and I assumed there was like about 100, but no, 242. We have Sensei Yang. I guess that would be 242. I don't know what he has to do with Crystallized at all, but sure. Okay, I'll take him. Again, I feel like his tail kind of blends up with the sparkles in the back. Don't know if this was the best design for him, but he's a neat character at least. He's one I definitely forgot about. 
Oh, okay. I accidentally tore open the pack when taking this tape off, so <laughs> that's one way to open it. So we've got a little spoiler for that final pack, so let's just tear into it. We've got Kai and Jay fighting. We have a legacy young Lloyd. That's I've never seen that render before, actually. That's very funny looking. He's got like his movie expression, though, obviously, on the young Lloyd face. It's a little bit uncanny. I kind of love it, though. I like seeing the weird LEGO 3D renders. Then we have Legacy Master Wu. Ooh, okay, that seems like a very fancy card of coal. Not sure what's going on there. That looks really neat. Then we have Wu with the broom again. I'm glad we got two of that one. That's one that I really wanted two of. And then finally, number 139 on the end, we have Kalmar. Okay, again, the sparkles feel really intense. I think it works a little bit better with Kalmar. I like the red lightning coming out of his staff. Or sorry, not his staff, his trident. But oh boy, those sparkles feel overwhelming. They could tone it down a little bit. <laughs> So here's all the rare stickers that we got from this first collection, and unironically, I do think the Mango Whipper is the best one. Because he's not just a bunch of sparkles and that's it, like he is still obviously a very sparkly sticker, but he has a proper background. There's like this planet back here and this darkness, and there's like these cracks here. It looks genuinely really, really cool, and that's why this is definitely going to be going on my laptop. But some of the others are just character and sparkle, which some look cool. I honestly like the Wu a bit better with them all laid out like this, but I think the Water Dragon's one of the coolest, the Garvanon's one of the coolest, while others like this Lloyd, not as cool. By the way, if you guys don't know what the deal is with the stickers, I believe there's a sticker book that they also sell and you can put the stickers in the sticker book and there's places that's why they're all numbered so i'd put this into slot number 230 in the sticker book when blue ocean sent me these they did also send me a blank sticker book as well as extra copies of every single card to put into the sticker book so if you guys are interested in seeing a video on that let me know in the comments but I personally find it to be a lot of fun just to open up packs. And since obviously all those stickers are going to go in the sticker book, these are just extras for me. So now I get to put like this guy on my laptop, which I am very much looking forward to. But of course, that's not everything that this collection came with, because we also got a full Lego minifigure right here, a Hydro Whipper. This is of course one of the previous magazine promos. But I'm going to get this opened up so we can take a look at the minifigure too. So of course this guy is just one of the generic Hydro Whippers from Seabound, but I absolutely love these guys. I'm always happy to get more. One of my favorite generic villains just because I think they're so silly. And this is the full version of the figure. You get the flippers, you get the armor, and he even has a little weapon with the black dragon hill. Yeah, I've covered these guys many times before on the channel, so I won't spend too long on him, but definitely a very fun bonus to get here on top of all the stickers. Nothing exceptional, but he is a very, very appreciated inclusion. But now let's open up the second sticker collection that I have here today, and this one comes with a J mini figure. But first let's look at the stickers, so let's see what it's got in store. Okay, we once again have eight packs, so let's start with this one right here. We have Lloyd's Race Car Evo, we have the Stone Totems from the Island, we have Wu in the uh, newspaper base from Crystallized, we have Island Lloyd, ooh, some of the Skullkin, this is a very, very strange sticker, because that's a minifigure render of Legacy Whiplash, I'm pretty sure that's just a straight up photograph of Day of the Departed... Ch Chopov? <laughs> No, sorry, that's Fractal. They just gave him Chop Off's helmet. Yeah, sorry, that's Fractal. That's Fractal. Please, I know my Ninjago skeletons. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just like a set image of Fractal, like an actual photograph. And then this is like an illustration from the poster of Crazy. So each of these is rendered in a different style, and they kind of clash, and one's from 2021, and the other two are from 2016. Definitely some very odd choices here, but interesting sticker to say the least. And then finally, in the end for the sparkling one, we have number 85, and that's, ooh, okay, Golden Woo. But wait, this is like Golden Woo, but he's in his Legacy outfit. That's actually, that's not what the minifigure looks like. He's got his original design for his face, and that's like the Legacy robes just turned gold. That's not at all what the minifigure looks like. Very weird. I've actually never seen that before. Hmm, interesting. Definitely fun to analyze the art on these stickers, but yeah, let's get into the next pack. And starting things off, we have the most important sticker, Dareth, and then we have Jay and Fuji Dove, and then we have Clutch Powers from the Island, we have Harumi meeting the Overlord, we have Kai's students in the dojo, I believe, and then finally on the end, we have number 78. Ooh, okay, I something's going on here. <laughs> we have Samurai X Nia, but I guess using her elemental power because she's just sort of engulfed in water. I get what they were going for here, I don't know if it was accomplished, but sure. <laughs> Definitely a cool effect to say the least. I'll give him that. Pack number three for this one. We got the stone guys from the island again. We have Nia in her water form. We have Scuba Zane. We just have Jay's original symbol for some reason. We have Ronin from Crystallized, I guess. And then finally, number 20 on the end, we have Golden Dragon Kai. Kind of simple card, but I think it looks good. It's everything it needs to be. Pack number four. This one's already torn a little bit, so let's just rip into it further. We have Master Wu, we have the Overlord, we have a ghost from the show actually, not a legacy ghost, it's just a ghost from the show. We have Zane's Jet, we have Nia playing with Zippy, love that card, and then we have 127, 
the stone guy from the island again, but this time a very special version of that card. And that actually looks quite cool. I love the purple. It's super nice. He's got like lightning erupting from his mouth. Yeah, that's a surprisingly really nice, uh, really nice sticker. I keep always calling these cards because I'm used to opening up the trading cards, but no, these are sticker packs, not trading card packs, but it's a very similar thing. Anyway, pack number five. Yeah, I believe pack number five. We got Prison Lloyd with a bowl. I'm sure that's one that everyone wants. We got the Crystal King. We got Legacy J with armor. We have, oh, that's actually a cute one. I actually, I might set that one to the side. I kind of like that one. That's very cute. We have Oni Garmadon. Ooh, show render. That's another one. I don't know if I've seen that render before. That looks quite nice. And then finally, number 30 on the end, we have Island Kai holding his uh, machetes upside down. I don't know if that's a safe course of action, Kai, but sure. Number six. Okay, starting things out, we have the Better Call Dareth sticker. That, unfortunately, doesn't have the full thing, but that's very funny. That's one that I will definitely treasure. Then, very interesting design for the Crystal King. He's all gold in here. Not sure if that's, like, a special card or something. Special sticker, sorry, not special card. We have Nia fighting Mojira. We have Bansha from a TV show render from back in Season 5. We have the new Ninja. And then number 80 on the end, we have, oh, okay, just Cordnea. That one actually looks kind of nice. It's a simple card, but I like the little water particles coming off and how they sort of tie in with the sparkles. Yeah, this one's pretty cute, actually. Then we have the penultimate pack right here, number seven. We got Woo making pancakes. Awesome. We have Cornea. We have, I actually, huh, I don't recognize this piece of art right here. It looks like it's maybe legacy related. And that's Zane, I believe, with the shuriken, but I don't think I've seen that before. Interesting. If anybody knows where this is from, please let me know. Then we have the Time Twins. Again, not sure how they're related to Crystallize, but okay. Then we have a golden version of Kai as well. And then finally in the end, number 29, we have, okay, this is the core Kai Spinner. This one I think maybe looks a little bit better than the Lloyd one. I think the yellow definitely fits everything a lot more than the green did. But even still, yeah, not my favorite that I've gotten. Okay, and the final pack for this video, let's crack this thing open. Let's see what the last few stickers we're gonna get are. Of course, wonderful, starting with Woo Cooking Pancakes again, the exact one I wanted to get two of. But yep, there is Woo Cooking Pancakes. We got Scott, my favorite character of all time. Unigami, we've got a Prime Empire theme going on. We got Onigarbanon. This actually looks to be a sort of like cartoon-like design form. I kind of like that. Then we have Golden Dragon J, and this seems to be a part of a bigger picture. And then finally in the end, number 160, the final rare sticker of this video, we have... Ooh, crystallized Asphira, and they guess they didn't know how to do her tail, so they just didn't give her a tail. She's just a floating body. That does actually look kind of bad. I don't love how they did that. I don't know why they didn't give her any tail at all. That's very bizarre. And here's the eight sparkly stickers I got in this collection. I don't think they're as cool as the ones from the other, but there's still some good ones in here. I actually really like the Stone Golem one. The Woo one's just interesting based on the design, because why does he look like that? Why isn't he his official figure? I don't know. The Samurai Neo one's pretty cool, and I do like the Corneo one as well. But yeah, nothing incredibly exciting here. However, what is really exciting is that I got not one, but two copies of Master Woo Cookie Pancakes, and that's going to be a very valuable card in a few years. This thing I'm telling you is going to be worth five. $500 a piece, so I'm definitely going to be holding on to these ones, I'm going to be getting them graded. I know they're technically not cards, they're stickers, but who cares, I'm still going to get them graded. I'm telling you guys, Master Wu Cooking Pancakes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be worth a lot. If you have this one, make sure to hold on to it. But now in all seriousness, let's take a look at the poly bag that came with this collection, because this is of course Season 11J, which is a super, super exciting one to get. I have, of course, covered this figure before on the channel, but I'm still going to open up this pie bag so you guys can see him. Actually, I am so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. This is very clearly not Season 11 J. This is Core J, a figure that is a lot more recent, a lot more common, and a lot less interesting. So I take back everything I just said about this being super desirable. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I just saw the armor piece and was like, oh, Season 11 suits. Because the actual poly bag was a bit discolored, so it didn't jump out to me as the colors of the core suit. But yeah, obviously, it's got yellow on it. This is the core suit. I feel very silly about that, but I really can't, like, redo that footage. Because, of course, I've already opened everything. So yeah, Core J is a figure not as exciting. I will say I do really like this weapon, this like flail with shurikens on the end. That's a lot of fun. And Core J, I don't even dislike as a figure. I think he's perfectly fine. The yellow is very interesting on him. I do like that. Sand blue on the pants is something we don't see all too often. Don't know if it looks the best, but hey, I mean, it's unique. But this figure comes in lots and lots and lots of sets and lots of them are very cheap as well. So getting him here with these stickers is not like a particularly exciting thing. Still though, he is kind of a bonus on top of the sticker, so I can't complain too much. But yeah, there are much more exciting options out there. They are just reusing magazine promos, but this is probably the worst magazine promo in years. Okay, and I just want to end this video off by showing you that I've attached some of the stickers to my laptop. I got like the little crystallized opening thing right here. And then on the other side of my touchpad, I put Sensei Wu making pancakes. And then on the back of my laptop, I put the sparkly Sensei Wu sticker, and then most importantly, the Mango Whipper sticker right here. 
Absolutely love this guy. Happy to have him on my laptop. And I think the overall collection looks much better now. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video and these stickers as a whole. If you want to see more Ninjago trading card game or sticker content on the channel, make sure to let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.